I would suggest that the uh, clerk cook conduct a roll call vote and after a quorum is established pursuant to section 3.1-35-35 of the Illinois Municipal Code, you elect one of your members to serve as the uh, temporary chairman of this meeting uh, to preside over the meeting. I know historically uh, I'm told that you've had the longest serving uh, alderman serve in that position. It's my understanding that Alderman Seibert and uh, Alderman Musgrove have declined to do so, which would leave as the next uh, longest uh, serving alderman, uh, Dr. Silsby, who served in that capacity in the meeting that the mayor was absent due to his mother's illness. So um, that being said, if, if Clerk Cook would call the roll. Thank you. Alderman Hazel. Alderman Kinsella? Here. Alderman Pusa? Here. Alderman Bittner? Here. Alderman Randall? Here. Alderman Tyler? Here. Alderman Anthony? Here. Alderman Ovian? Here. Alderman Silsby? Here. Alderman Dillman? Here. Alderman Seibert? Here. Alderman White? Here. Alderman Galletti? Here. Alderman Elmore? Here. Alderman Wigington? Here. Alderman Musgrove? Here. Mr. Clerk? Yes, sir. I make a motion that we appoint uh, Dr. Silsby uh, as the uh, chairman of tonight's uh, board meeting. Thanks. Second. Second by Alderman Kinsella. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Dr. Silsby? Okay, we'll do a roll call of department heads. City Treasurer Hart. Here. City Attorney Horner. Here. Police Chief Clay. Here. Fire Chief Poor. Here. Ken Vaughn. Here. Royce Carlisle. Here. Jamie Matrit. Tim Gregowitz. Here. Jim Schneider. Here. Leander Spearman. Here. Anissa McCaskill. Here. Chuck Schaefer. Debbie Belleville. Here. Bob Sabo. Here. It, Mike's here for Chuck. Okay. Mike Parks. All right. If everyone was pleased, uh, stand and join me in the pledge of allegiance. There is no public hearing tonight, and before we go into public participation, encourage everyone that the rules and uh, of conduct are contained um, in the agenda, the back of the agenda, I encourage you to follow those. And then when you step up to uh, speak, please um, state your name and your address, and please keep your um, comments to two to three minutes on the agenda or city business. Make sure you speak into the microphone because these uh, are being taped. We are now open for public participation. Yes, ma'am. Two negative, Lillian Schneider, 219 Kansas Avenue, also in trash bills paid with no six water shutoff notices. My uh, speaking tonight is on the Belleville property tax break for Bel Belleville t property tax bill. Increased by $70 for every $100,000. There was no real facts of the count of veterans qualified for this tax break or did the paper not print all the facts and what has me concerned is the mayor's comment and I will read it word for word mayor Mark Eckert said the main reason for the drop in the assessed valuation was due to the new property tax breaks granted by the state to be dis to disabled veterans so it's more or less saying it's the disabled veterans fault no it's not um, when the mayor doesn't make a comment, when the mayor makes a comment like that about all the co corporations and businesses that get large property tax breaks and our sales tax is one of the largest in the area, does he sit there and blame them for having us having the largest sales tax and all the tax breaks they get? And we're one of the largest in the area. For these businesses to receive a portion of this tax high tax that we have of 9.1 um, the comment about the veterans by the mayor does he expect them now to shop in Belleville it was one of the most rudest comments just like the one about Ben Franklin or mr. Conkright 
not being able to please him. Veterans, please accept my apology. Thank you for your service you have gave to our country. Please tell all other veterans that not everyone in Belleville is that rude. Also in the article, Elmore is concerned about not in having police officers included in the new budget. Where was Elmore when he wasn't an alderman? Why wasn't he speaking then? Um, and the next thing, our month is up. I don't know how many of you will even acknowledge how you were laughing at that meeting on Wednesday night before the great big press conference. Well, how many of you are laughing now? Where is our new hotel? The month is up. Mr. Hagberg. <coughs> Michael Hagberg. Um, I also want to comment on the tax levy. Last December, when the tax levy was presented to this council, Jamie Major stated that it would have a modest increase of $8.73 on a $100,000 home. Please accept my apologies for making comments that I thought the increase would be between $32 and $40. I was wrong. Now that the rates have been certified, the Belleville taxes for the $100,000 home, just for the Belleville portion, is $788, an increase of $70.21 not the $8.73 that was previously reported. In a BND article, Mayor Eckert blamed the tax increase on the state allowing disabled veterans additional property tax exemptions. I myself do not believe that these exemptions had much of an effect on that $70 increase. When I get the actual figures, I'll return to this council and show you the actual dollar amount of that $70 that can be attributed to our veterans getting an exe exemption on their property taxes. Next subject is, um, I notice that we're making all the TIF rebates this, this pay period. Uh, you'll notice the claims are a little over $8 million. One of the items I've spoken about in the past has been TIF 10, and I noticed that they are making a payment for the taxes collected in tax year 2014. Uh, I have no record, and it seems like with the fund balance in there that there was never a payment made for the tax year 2013. And maybe somebody could look into it and find out if that payment was skipped or if there was a reason why it was skipped. Thank you. Stewart. Short Lanner, 318 South 29th Street, Belleville. As far as these uh, public participation uh, rules, I think only Rule B and E should be act applicable. The rest of it's just a bunch of nonsense. And uh, Lindenwood pays no property tax. Belleville pays Lindenwood 150000 a year. We can now thank a vet for our taxes going up. And uh, we just had another dead person, about 34 years old, from an overdose. And there was not a peep in the paper about that. And the NGA never, ever had a. Stuart, please never, keep your comments uh, to this meeting. Even, they never even considered. Uh, that cornfield out there to them that was a pristine green space and to the St. Clair leaders that was just a blighted area but they are not in tune with the green revolution that's taking place thank you anyone else to address this council if not I will close public participation and we'll move on to presentations, recognition, and appointments. I believe we have some students from Altoff and Belva West here to uh, make a presentation on the character word of the month. So if you will please come forward. Hi, my name is Emily Brunig. I'm a sophomore at Altoff Catholic High School. I'm a member of the Belleville Youth Board, and I'm here to share the word of the month. The word is cooperation, and it's working together in a peaceful way. 
And um, we show this every, one, every month when we meet together with East and West. It's pretty amazing that like three, uh, the students from the three high schools can all come together and work and do good for this city. Um, I'm th guessing Wes didn't show up today. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did a great job. We thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, it's my privilege now if Chase Biddle will come forward, I would have a presentation for him. achieved a goal, and probably one of the highest goals you can achieve uh, in athletics, because he was a state champion in wrestling. That is outstanding, and we want to recognize him tonight. I have a certificate of recognition presented to Chase Biddle uh, in recognition of your achievement as the 2016 Illinois High School Association State Wrestling Champion. Your hard work and dedication to reach your goals serves as an inspiration to all. The city of Belleville is proud of your accomplishments and wishes you all the best in future endeavors. Congratulations, Mark W. Eckert, Mayor of the City of Belleville. We congratulate you, and we give you a challenge. We want to see you back here next year.
Therefore, it be resolved that Mark W. Eckert, Mayor of the City of Belleville, do hereby proclaim April 5th, 2016 as National Service Recognition Day and encourage residents to recognize the positive impact of national service in our city, to thank those who serve, and to find ways to give back to their community. Congratulations for your work. You are leaders, and we thank you for leading our community. Okay, next item of agenda is the approval of the minutes for March 21st, 2016. Motion by Alderman uh, Wigington. Do I have a second? Alderman White, a second. Any additions or corrections? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Next, we have cl uh, claims, payroll, and disbursements. Motion to approve claims and disbursements in the amount of $8,425,138.18 and payroll in the amount of 826515 Motion by Alderman uh, Anthony, second by Alderman Dittleman. Any questions? Roll call. Hazel. Aye. Kinsella. Aye. Pusa. Aye. Bittner. Aye. Randall. Aye. Tyler. Aye. Anthony. Aye. Ovian. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Dentleman. Aye. Seibert. Aye. White. Aye. Galletti. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Wigington. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Motion carries. We have no reports or reports from the standing committees. We have motions from the Zoning Board of uh, Appeals. Alderman uh, Seibert. I'd uh, like to have them as a group. Do we have any? Yes. Uh, I would like to separate uh, A1, 12A1. Just have some comments on that. Okay, any others? I was going to want them to be read by title only as well, if possible. 12A7. Pardon me? Separate 12A7. You're in objection to reading by title only? Do I need a motion? Yeah, to read by okay, title only. Okay, I need then. a motion to read by title only and as a group. We'll just do the first one first. Okay. We'll just go with the first and then we'll. A, a motion and a second. Alderman Seibert. Any questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. We'll do 12A1 uh, uh, first. 12A1, case 6, March 16, Diamond Shell Incorporated doing business as the edge. We have a motion. Alderman Dittleman, second. Alderman Kinsella, discussion. Yes, sir. Uh, first off, uh, Mr. Dom and Ms. Snell, I have nothing against your uh, proposal. Uh, I am a big backer of your business. I want to see you expand. Uh, <clears throat> this is uh, an issue regarding uh, number two. And the request and the lighting issue. Uh, there are currently uh, questions as far as how we are going to be able to enforce the lighting issues. Um, I have asked that lighting be placed on the housing committee meeting on Wednesday. Um, before I would vote in favor of any restrictions placed on a business or uh, to give the residents a false sense of security regarding lighting and its intrusion on their property. I would ask that this particular uh, item be tabled until after the meeting on Wednesday so that all parties uh, will be uh, able to discuss the issues that are currently going on with lighting and that in the future uh, any issues regarding lighting and the intrusion on pri private property uh, that everybody involved would know uh, where they stand and uh, what is expected of them and what can be done. We are currently uh, experiencing issues regarding lighting on South 29th Street, West A and West Main Street, 
which will not be resolved. So my motion right now is to table this, if I can make that motion. We have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Uh, that is in our ward. We spent a lot of time talking with uh, the <coughs> EDGE and various constituents, and um, I know that lighting is a concern, but uh, we're in favor of this moving forward. As the alderman. Alderman Diddleman. They've already uh, put a new parking lot in within the last year, and they've had no lighting issues uh, from that parking lot or any other parking lot that they've had. They also went, uh, before they got this uh, variance here, they went around to the neighborhood and they got all their neighbors come in and uh, talk about this, and everybody was, they were pro uh, for the whole outset here, the whole deal. And so this has been discussed in committee meetings when they actually took it to the zoning board and nobody seemed to have a problem with it. Uh, neighbors did, the zoning board did. Yeah. So. Alderman White. Thank you, uh, Chairman. I, uh, I somewhat concur with what Mr. Bittner is saying, but on the other hand, if this is, if the concern is being taken to another committee, such as a housing and a, uh, down the road, wouldn't that, if that, if the ordinance does change, wouldn't that be affecting something that already exists? I mean, I, I can't see holding this one item for something that might change in, in the future. Jared, can you answer that? If there's going to be an ordinance change in the future, of course, uh, you know, that would impact uh, the code. But as far as what is being proposed now, this is a, uh, you know, zoning action that would remain in effect with the property. So it would not be changed? Correct. Okay. Alderman Kinsella. I'd like to point out that we are not without an ordinance for lighting. We have an ordinance for lighting, and this would be required to fulfill the requirements of the ordinance as it is. Alderman Bittner. The problem that we're experiencing is that uh, the lighting ordinance is not, in my opinion, being uh, enforced on certain, on certain companies, certain entities within the city. And it is directly affecting uh, residents and nothing is being done. So that's why I brought it, I want to bring it back to the uh, committee. I have a concern here. Uh, are we setting a precedent uh, for um, every sporting event uh, that goes on into the evening that has lights? Anybody that uh, is open on later hours or wants to secure their properties with lights? Uh, I can see us setting this wrong tone here and possibly setting a precedent for uh, future development. And, and, and again, I think uh, athletic events. Right. And one of those issues, the uh, lighting issue has been there since 1940. And people knew that when they moved into the area and, and they've worked through it and the schools have worked with them uh, in the best that they can at that point. I just want to relay a, a personal situation. When the Historical Society purchased the old Lawrence Funeral Home, which is next door to my property, the night light shines into my bedroom. It shines into my bedroom, but I don't have a problem with it because I look over and make sure that their property is not being intruded, intruded, uh, intruded upon. And I can convey to Larry Betts if there's a problem and call 911. So it's, it's not always a negative situation. Lighting is important today for us for safety. Okay. Uh, Alderman Randall. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, I wasn't at the uh, zoning board meeting, but did I hear Alderman Gentleman correct that uh, there were no objections to the zoning request? That's correct. Thank you. Okay, we have a motion and a second to delay or to postpone this um, zoning board of a appeal <coughs> case. Tabled. Tabled to the next meeting. We'll do a roll call vote. Hazel. No. Kinsella. No. Pusa. No. Bittner. Aye. Randall. No. Tyler. No. Anthony. Ovian. No. Silsby. No. Dentleman. No. Seibert. No. White. No. Galetti. No. Elmore. No. Wigington. No. Musgrove. No. Okay. Motion defeated. Uh, next, we have the motion to approve um, uh, 12A1, which is the Dom and Shell, uh, the edge situation. Do I have a motion? Or do we have a motion already? No, we do not. Okay. We have a motion from Alderman Diddleman, second by me. Okay. 
Any other comments? Roll call. Hazel. Excuse me. I, th I think that was for title only. I'm sorry. Yeah, That's because right. okay. Alderman Benner jumped in first, I think. On okay, that one. So now we're going to have to. You want to make the motion? I will make that motion. I was going to accept it anyway. <laughs> Second. I'll let you do it. Okay, now we have a motion for Alderman Kinsella and uh, Alderman Diddleman for the approval of the EDGE request. Uh, roll call. Hazel. Aye. Kinsella. Aye. Pusa. Aye. Bittner. Just for clarification, like I said, I have nothing against your business. I wish you the best. I want you to uh, uh, be successful. I want you to uh, expand as much as you can. I frequent your business very well. I, I do go there a lot, and I enjoy it. So, But I'm going to vote no on this. Randall. Aye. Tyler. Aye. Anthony. Aye. Ovian. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Dillman. Aye. Seibert. Aye. White. Aye. Galletti. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Wigington. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, next we can do A2, A3, A4, A5, and A6. A8 and A9. Correct? Yes. Okay. We just need one more motion for that. A okay. We need a motion title only for group. title only, Alderman Seibert. Second by Alderman White to read by title all only, all those, and as a group. I have a question on A8. That's okay. We're not getting there yet. We're just going to do two through six. Okay. Um, yeah. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. 12A2, case number seven, March of 16, Maxwell Price. 12A3, case eight, March of 16, Julie Laswell Darnell. 12A4. Case 9, March 16A, MRB Development LLC, 12A5. Case 9, March of 16B, MRB Development LLC, 12A6. Case 10, March 16, Special Education Services, and 12A7. We'll hold off. Need a motion to approve those. Alderman Seibert. Second. Second by Alderman Wigington. Any discussion? Roll call. Hazel. Aye. Kinsella. Aye. Pusa. Aye. Bittner. Aye. Randall. Aye. Tyler. Aye. Anthony. Aye. Ovian. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Dentleman. Aye. Seibert. Aye. White. Aye. Galletti. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Wigington. Aye. Musgrove. Okay, next we'll do um, a motion to read by title only A7. <laughs> we'll just do A7 since they're going to be by themselves. A7. Motion by Alderman uh, Hazel. Hazel. Alderman White, second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries. 12A7, case 11, March of 16, Green Forest Vapor Shop. Motion to approve. Alderman White, second by Alderman Seibert. Discussion. Okay, all those in uh, roll call. Hazel. No. Kinsella. Aye. Pusa. Aye. Bittner. Aye. Randall. Aye. Tyler. Aye. Anthony. Aye. Ovian. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Dentleman. Aye. Seibert. Aye. White. Aye. Galletti. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Wigington. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, next is 12-8. Uh, A-8. A motion to read by title only. Alderman White. Second by Alderman Anthony. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed. Motion carries. 12A8, case 12, March of 16, Joe Ann Bumpers. Motion to approve. Alderman uh, uh, Anthony, second by Alderman Wigington. <laughs> Discussion? Yes, sir. I'd like to know what the hours of operation are going to be and how many days a week and how many years of service. And the final question is how many stalls will be maintained? And bumpers operation hours are nine to um, six in the afternoon, five days, six days a week. That's Monday through That's Saturday? No, Tuesday to Saturday. Okay. Yeah. And how many years of experience have you had? Uh, 20. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any other discussion? Roll call. Hazel. Aye. Kinsella. Aye. Pusa. Aye. Bittner. Aye. Randall. Aye. Tyler. Aye. Anthony. Aye. Ovian. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Dentleman. Aye. Seibert. Aye. White. Aye. Galletti. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Wigington. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, 12A9. Motion to read by title only. 
Alderman Randall, second by Alderman Galletti. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. 12A9, case 13, March of 16, Eagle Lake Winery. Motion to approve, Alderman Randall, second. Alderman Tyler. Discussion. Roll call. Hazel. Aye. Kinsella. Aye. Busa. Aye. Bittner. Aye. Randall. Aye. Tyler. Aye. Anthony. Aye. Ovian. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Dentelman. Aye. Seibert. Aye. White. Aye. Galletti. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Wigington. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Before we move on, I would like to say to um, thank Dallas for putting the recommendation of the zoning board right underneath and concise. That, that made it so easy. didn't have to flip back and forth. So thank you for doing that. Next will be motions from the uh, wastewater division. Uh, motion to scrap a 1991 Chevy S10 pickup with 107,502 miles uh, and a 1998 Ford pickup dunk, uh, dump, dumped with 142,885 miles after the fire department uses the vehicles for extrication practice. Motion by Alderman uh, Elmore, second by Alderman Seibert. Any discussion? Roll call. Hazel, Aye. Kinsella, Aye. Pusa, Aye. Bintner, Aye. Randall, Aye. Tyler, Aye. Anthony, Aye. Ovian, Aye. Silsby, Aye. Dentelman, Aye. Seibert, Aye. White, Aye. Galletti, Aye. Elmore, Aye. Wigington, Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Motion carries. Need a motion to scrap a V-bed salt spreader. Motion by Alderman Tyler, second by Alderman Seibert. Discussion? Roll call. Hazel, Aye. Kinsella, Aye. Pusa, Aye. Bintner, Aye. Randall, Aye. Tyler, Aye. Anthony. Ovian, Aye. Silsby, Aye. Dentelman, Aye. Seibert, Aye. White, Aye. Galletti, Aye. Elmore, Aye. Wigington, Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, motion to trade a 1994 John Deere tractor mower. Motion to approve. Alderman Tyler, second by Alderman Kinsella. Discussion. Roll call. Hazel, Aye. Kinsella, Aye. Pusa, Aye. Bittner, Aye. Randall, Aye. Tyler, Aye. Anthony. Ovian, Aye. Silsby, Aye. Dentelman, Aye. Seibert, Aye. White, Aye. Galletti, Aye. Elmore, Aye. Wigington, Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Motion carries. Next a, uh, next, a motion from the police department. Motion to scrap a 2001 Ford Crown Vic with 120,103 miles, uh, a 2003 Ford Crown Vic with 129,067 miles, and a 1992 Chevrolet Caprice with 98,562 miles after the fire department uses the vehicles for extrication per practice. Alderman Elbor makes a motion, second by Alderman Wigington. Discussion? Yes, sir. I would like to find out if we have any donation possibilities on the 03 and the 01 Crown Vix. Chief, I don't remember that coming out of the police and fire. The 01 and the 03 Crown Vix, do we have any donation? opportunities on those vehicles? No, we've not had anybody ask for those. What we do sometimes is if SWIC can use them or something like that, depending on what the damage is to the vehicle, we allow for that. But most of the time the vehicles are so, so worn that we would not give those vehicles to anybody. They need to be scrapped. Sometimes our warriors idea of yeah. warning. That's why yeah, I, I understand. Had, had, did, we dis did we have further discussion on, about these in the police and fire? Uh, I'm not sure that we did. Is it just being brought to this committee? Yeah, this it's council? being brought to the council. Uh, <clears throat> this is not really a gray issue whatsoever. Uh, these vehicles are scrapped and they really need to go. We, we think the fire department uh, will benefit from using them to uh, you know, train on. Uh, there's nothing that we're going to do with them. Nothing. And we're not going to transfer them to somebody else. Okay. Thank you. Do we have a motion? Yes. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Roll call. Hazel. Aye. Kinsella. Aye. Pusa. Aye. Bittner. Aye. Randall. Aye. Tyler. Aye. Anthony. Aye. Ovian. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Dentelman. Aye. Seibert. Aye. White. Aye. Galletti. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Wigington, Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Motion carries. Next, we need a motion to approve the First Amendment to Proposal Agreement between Wastewater Manage Waste Management of Illinois, Inc., and the City of Belleville. Motion to approve. Alderman Dittleman, second by Alderman Kinsella. Discussion. 
Roll call. Hazel. Aye. Kinsella. Aye. Pusa. Aye. Bittner. Aye. Randall. Aye. Tyler. Aye. Anthony. Aye. Ovian. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Dillman. Aye. Seibert. Aye. White. Aye. Galletti. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Wigington. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Motion carries. Communications. We have three. Do I have a motion to re read as a group? Yeah, as a group. Okay, Alderman Seibert, second by Alderman White. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. 13A, communication from Parks and Recreation Department requesting to hold the annual tour to Belleville bike ride on Friday, July 8, 2016, starting at 8.30 p.m. at Union United Methodist Church throughout a designated route throughout the city and ending on the church parking lot. Also requesting barricades and police coverage and temporary street closures throughout the five and 15 mile routes. 13B, communication from the Southwestern Illinois Central Labor Council requesting permission to hold annual Labor Day parade and picnic on Monday, September 5th, 2016. 13C, communication from Midtown Association requesting use of the city-owned parking lot at the corner of 9th and West Main on May 7th, 2016 for community rummage sale fundraiser. We request permission to put an advertising sign the week prior to sale and to have some city trash cans available for that day. If possible, we would like to have portable pedestrian crossing signs at this corner for that day. We have uh, kind of a motion to motion by Alderman Seibert, second by Alderman Wigington to approve these three requests. Any discussion? I'd like to interject one thing. I hope every alderman will make himself available to volunteer for the Tour de Belleville because uh, nobody knows these streets better than we do, and it'd be a great way for you to help your neighborhood. That's it. This is how many? This is what year? Uh, Sorry, sorry to put you on the spot. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Okay. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. We have no petitions, no resolutions. We have some ordinances. I need a motion to read by title only and as a group. Motion uh, Galetti, second by Alderman Ovian. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries. As a, as a full group? As a full group. Uh, 16A ordinance number 7937 of 2016, 16B ordinance number 7938 of 2016, 16C ordinance number 7939 of 2016, 16D ordinance number 7940 of 2016, 16E ordinance number 7941 of 2016, 16F ordinance number 7942 of 2016. He says we have to have more. Oh, okay, okay. And are we sure everybody's willing to vote on all at one time? Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. We'll start over. 16A ordinance number 7937 of 2016 is zoning ordinance in regard to case uh, number six, March of 16, Dom and Shell Incorporated doing business as the edge. 16B ordinance number 7938 of 2016 is zoning ordinance in regard to case number seven, March of 16, Maxwell Price. 16C ordinance number 7939 of 2016 is zoning ordinance in regard to case number eight, March of 16. Julie Laswell Darnell, 16D ordinance number 7940 of 2016 is zoning ordinance in regard to case number nine, March 16. A, MRB Development LLC, 16E ordinance number 7941 of 2016, zoning ordinance in regard to case number nine, March 16. B, MRB Development LLC, 16F ordinance number 7942 of 2016 is zoning ordinance in regard to case number 10 of March of 16, Special Education Services. 16G ordinance number 7943, 2016 is zoning ordinance in regard to case number 11, March 16. Green Forest Vapor Shop. 16H, ordinance number 7944, 2016, is zoning ordinance in regard to case number 12, March of 16, Joanne Bumpers. 16I, ordinance number 7945, 2016, is zoning ordinance in regard to case number 13, March of 16, Eagle Lake Winery. Need a motion to approve. Alderman Seibert, second. Alderman Pusa, discussion. Roll call. Hazel. Aye. Kinsella. Aye. Pusa. Aye. Bittner. No. Randall. Aye. Tyler. Aye. Anthony, Aye. Ovian, Aye. Silsby, Aye. Dittleman, Aye. Seibert, Aye. White, Aye. Galletti, Aye. Elmore, Aye. Wigington, Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Motion carries. We don't have any unfinished business. Mr. Silsby. Chairman. Yes, sir. On, under unfinished business, um, oh, about a month or two ago, or about a month ago, I asked the city attorney um, to contact Linwood University regarding uh, the city council moving to Lindenwood and there are several individuals have been banned from the uh, school property. Is there any movement on that? Have we gotten any communication? That, that is a meeting that uh, the mayor and I will have with them. We've discussed it and we're going, the movement will not happen in, unless it is in writing. There will be a written agreement that all the public will be able to attend. Okay. And that will be before? Of course, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, 
few other things? Sure. Regarding the parking plan with Linwood University, um, living within the uh, area, uh, who uh, it doesn't appear to me that this plan's being enforced, <coughs> it's, it's, it's at least as far as the parking. The students are still not parking in the designated areas. Uh, they're all, all along the streets. Um, it's been, the plan was submitted in February, it's April, and it doesn't appear to be any uh, semblance of following what the plan uh, says. Uh, that's one reason I asked that it be placed on the housing agenda Wednesday. I encourage all the aldermen to be at that meeting, to hear there will be residents at that meeting. Uh, there are issues going on uh, throughout the neighborhood. Um, the plan's lacking, uh, and I asked this of the mayor uh, at the last meeting when the plan was submitted to us, the gravel, uh, the gravel driveways behind the homes, there's nothing in the plan as far as when those will be uh, paved. Uh, as far as the parking lots, uh, the city was required when we did we did a parking lot over behind, uh, I believe it was on uh, Church Street or uh, I, I forget, but we had to put green space in. Uh, there's nothing in the plan as far as green space on the parking lots. Uh, once again, the lighting issues, where uh, there's lighting issues on West A, uh, uh, 20th, 29th Street, uh, and Main Street. It was a stipulation when, we, when this council voted to give the uh, special use permit that lighting would be addressed. There's nothing in the plan discussing lighting. Um, besides that, there are other issues going on with the students. Uh, communication between Lindenwood and myself there is no communication uh, I've had repeated requests of Dr. Wingo to address some issues with uh, specific housing on uh, West A in particular West uh, 2000 West A 2007 West A 2021 West A uh, these are all issues these are houses uh, uh, that do not follow the rules of the school and uh, I, these are issues that need to be addressed. And so I encourage everyone on this council to be at the uh, housing meeting. I also requested that the, uh, on the police and fire, that the issue of security be addressed. It's my understanding that security for Lindenwood in the evenings, overnight, and on weekends are a couple students uh, who answer the phone. So it appears to me that the Bellwood Police Department is the security for Lindenwood University in the evenings, at night, and on weekends. Uh, I had uh, several opportunities to call Lindenwood Security at 3.30 in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, 12.30 in the morning over the last month. And there's been a lot of issues during March. It's been going on, and uh, myself and a lot of the residents on my street are getting tired of it. I want it addressed by this administration. When I ask who's gonna enforce this parking plan, I don't get an answer. Uh, I do wanna give uh, some, uh, uh, my thanks and uh, uh, to, to Lieutenant Icecant. When I call him, things get done. Uh, he takes care of issues uh, and I, I wanna give him, I wanna commend him for the great job he's doing I can't, when I call security at Lindenwood or Dr. Wingo, I get no answers and nothing gets done. And I think we need to start putting a little pressure and get these kids in line. Um, so that's all I have to say on that. Thank you. Any other unfinished business? New business, miscellaneous and new business. We have modal fuel claims in the amount of 99,390.53 cents. Motion by Alderman Seibert. Do I have a second? Alderman Ovian. Discussion, roll call. Hazel. Aye. Kinsella. Aye. Busa. Aye. Bittner. Aye. Randall. Aye. Tyler. Aye. Anthony. Aye. Ovian. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Dentleman. Aye. Seibert. Aye. White. Aye. Galletti. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Wigington. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Motion carries. Need a motion to go into executive session for the purpose of collective bargaining and pending litigation only. Motion. Motion by Elmore, second by Kinsella. Discussion, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. We will be coming out of executive session with the possibility of some action. Thank you.
endeavor. Okay, I'm going to, uh, we need a motion to approve the, a successor collective of bargaining agreement between the city of Belleville and the Fraternal Order of Police Laborers Council on behalf of the police officers and sergeants for May 1st, 2015 to April 30th, 2019, contemplates annual raises of 2%, 2%, 2%, and 3%. Motion by Alderman Elmore, second by Alderman Galetti. Any discussion? Roll call. Hazel. Aye. Kinsella. Aye. Pusa. Aye. Bittner. Aye. Randall. Aye. Tyler. Aye. Anthony. Aye. Ovian. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Dillman. Aye. Seibert. Aye. White. Aye. Galetti. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Wigington. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Motion approved. Need a motion to approve a revised settlement agreement and general release between the City of Belleville and Richard Hosto concerning St. Clair County Circuit Court Case Number 07AR682 contemplates a net payment to the City of $10,000. Motion by Alderman Wigginton, second by Alderman Ovian. Any discussion? Roll call. Hazel. Aye. Kinsella. Aye. Pusa. Aye. Bittner. Aye. Randall. Aye. Tyler. Aye. Anthony. Aye. Ovian. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Dentleman. Aye. Seibert. Aye. White. Glutty, Elmore, Wigington, Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Motion carries. Motion to adjourn. Motion Alderman Gilletti, second. Oh. Alderman Kinsella. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Aye. 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 Aye.